This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. More tornadoes. Will this weather ever stop being so weird? Is the real winter actually coming back? We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Happy Tuesday, Arkansas. It is January 17th, 2023. Unfortunately, we do have severe weather possibilities again tomorrow, and I have some details that I want to go over with you. So as of today, we have a slight risk, the yellow color, and then the dark green, which is a marginal risk over much of the eastern half of our state. And this is for damaging wind potential, large hail, and tornadoes tomorrow. Now, I'm not panicking over this scenario, but there is a potential for severe weather tomorrow, and that does include the potential for rotating storms and thus tornadoes. So I'd like to look at some simulated data and what this is, is a computer trying to suggest what the radar might look like tomorrow. It gives us a good idea of what storms might do, timing, that sort of thing. So looking at this around 7 to 8 a.m., we could start to see some showers and storms popping up in southeast Arkansas. You can kind of see this occurring here, maybe even in northeast Arkansas. As we go through the morning, uh, early afternoon hours, I think when things really pick up, it's probably going to be around noon to around 5 p.m. And then you can see around 5 to 6 p.m. These storms are mostly moving out of Arkansas into Tennessee and Mississippi. But you can see the data here trying to suggest maybe a broken line of storms or maybe like a linear segment of storms. And the atmosphere will have the potential uh, to produce some spin tomorrow. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, some severe thunderstorm warnings and even some tornado warnings tomorrow before this is all said and done. This is some tornado parameter output. I don't usually show this a whole lot, but you can kind of notice that the red and the yellows and the orange colors really make an uptick tomorrow during the afternoon hours, kind of like what we just talked about. That's probably going to be our window from around noon to 5 to 6 p.m. The atmosphere will be a little bit more juiced in that time frame, so any storms that do want to rotate will have the better potential to do so. So if you live in like Pine Bluff, Lake Village, Monticello, DeWitt, kind of in that region of the state, uh, good idea to pay attention to the weather tomorrow afternoon. Before we move to the next segment, this video is sponsored by Jam Mart. They have several convenience stores located in the River Valley. Go by there, let them know that the Storm Tracker sent you. They have powdered donuts. I know everyone is sick and tired of hearing about warm weather. It's supposed to be like 70 today and tornadoes. So let's talk about when some real deal cold might return and include the state of Arkansas. So we are looking at an upper air map for the Northern Hemisphere. So just prepare yourself. I'm about to get a little bit weather nerdy on you. I want you to pay close attention to this area right here, if you can see my cursor, in the Gulf of Alaska. That is called ridging in the upper levels. And what this does, in plain terms, it dislodges the cold air in the western uh, regions of Canada and Alaska and helps dislodge the upper flow into the lower 48, thus including Arkansas. And as you can see here, there is a strong ensemble signal for the ridging in the Gulf of Alaska. It kind of phases a little bit, but then it comes right back and this is all in the latter stages of January. We've been talking about a cold into January for a couple weeks now, and the signals are still strong. So you might be asking yourself, okay, well, how does this translate for us here in the Southern US? And just how cold is it going to get, Zach? Unfortunately, we're just too far out for specifics, but we can use ensemble guidance to help us. Looking at the map now, you can see things are bright red and gray, and that stands for warmer than average temperatures. But as we fast forward, get around the 20th of this month and beyond, through this upcoming weekend and into next week, you'll notice the reds start to break down. Here comes the blue shadings, the green, the purples, and this represents below average temperatures in anomaly form. We can fast forward into fantasy land up to 360 hours, and we're still maintaining that blue into the early part of February. Here's the thing, with the cold air in place, and this time of year, climatology favors snowfall and other forms of winter weather in our state. So with the cold air being around, anything can happen. I repeat, anything can happen. So snow lovers, don't give up hope. Things look good for you for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you're alerted anytime I upload, and I'll catch you next time.